Right here we have Ejeon versus Vince, if I'm not Sonic wrong. against Link. That's yeah. gonna be an interesting match. Ejeon from Strasbourg and Vince from Paris. Do you get an idea about that matchup? Uh, I would put it in uh, Sonic's favor because uh, just because uh, he should be able to stay out of Link's comfort zone, which is like some kind of mid high mid range, I would say. Uh, you can play from super uh, long range, but basically doesn't achieve anything because the opponent can shield everything. And at super ra close range, uh, Link has pretty bad uh, frame data. But uh, at the same time, Sonic is so quick at getting in and out of that specific mid range, long mid range zone. So I would say it's in Link's favor, but uh, uh, Sonic's favor. But uh, there's also the fact that Ajo knows the Link matchup, while I'm pretty sure uh, Vince doesn't know the Sonic matchup. Yeah, there is no Sonic in Paris. Yeah, that, like usually would say, there's no Sonic in France. It's a slight exaggeration. Actually, we have the only two Sonics in France uh, here at this tournament. But indeed, none of them are from Paris. They're from very far away regions. One of them being, actually the best of them, uh, probably, being Egeon from Strasbourg. So right now, I love all the tricks that uh, Vince got with all these projectiles. I feel like he made the work a bit harder for Egeon. Like those drop bombs, like those kind of stuff, like just throwing his bomb around, jumping away, and just making a good wall. Like, Egeon finds some hit, but not really strong ones. And, I mean, it seems hard for him to get in, really hard. Yeah. Nice uh, shoot of the jump, though. He does have to. Oh wow! This I think this could have been a stock. Is uh, actually uh, Ajion is getting hit by a decent amount of bombs and boomerangs. Oh wow! That's too bad. I, I think it's, it's due to Link's rage when he gets uh, too much rage and uh, forward smash. Oh wow! And it kills actually off the top. The DI was not optimal at all. I think he didn't accept, <laughs> expect <laughs> to die on the top, so yeah, he just made a survival GI as much as he can. But yeah. sometimes you need to aim at the corner of the screen, not the, uh, the top top. Okay, we got a combo going, trying to go for a jab cancel, but obviously that won't work against the Sonic that's ready to use his invincible upbeat to get out of stuff. Okay, nice. Control. Terrible situation. Cannot use his forwarder to cover himself using the bomb and then a very early up B. That was really smart by Vince, really, yeah. really smart. Just to get back to of stage again, but survive the stay on the back throw probably allowed him to survive that. I love that I love that boomerang. He saw like Ejeon coming like early on the on the edge guard. He was like, oh man, I'm gonna make you lost a tiny bit of time with that boomerang. That was smart. But even though Ejeon was still managed to t take his stock with another back throw. Well, okay, so it seems Vince is able to clip those uh, spin dashes approach uh, when they're coming from the air with uh, perfectly timed b bomb throws. And he can also sit in shield and try to finish uh, the spin dash after it crosses him up. So if he manages to get uh, bombs out, even though he does get punished for it sometimes, it seems like a very good tool in the matchup. Ooh. Sometimes I feel like Vince is a... Uh, like Sonic is super fast, so it's hard to read, but I feel like sometimes it... <gasps> that up air, my god, I'm not sure how much of a read that was from uh, Vince, but that would definitely have taken the stock. Oh yeah. So I feel like sometimes he, he throw it box a bit too early, like just in, just in case I would say, or more by like... My reflex told me, like, I'm used to do that uh, that phase with yeah. projectiles and move, so you just stick to it, so you get punished by yeah, it. Yeah, and by that's Ijeon. actually what you really need to avoid as a link player. Very nice one, rating the side B recovery. It's been too, too many times you've tried that. Nice tech from Vince, you need to take everything when you play them. I so think an upset just happened because yeah. everyone is yelling in <laughs> the venue. Curious to see what exactly happened. So as we were saying, as you were saying, sorry, uh, definitely sometimes Vince getting hit uh, when he's pulling out uh, projectiles in a bit of a predictable fashion, and that's exactly what you should be avoiding as a zoner pro character. Okay, the up B, uh, both robbing Vince of his jump and taking the projectile. So you, you got a glimpse of what after happened? The, after that game, after okay. that game, but that's huge. That's huge. Okay, so a forward smash in the neutral. So yeah, I, I was uh, agreeing with you with uh, how um, sometimes Vince is a bit pre predictable with his uh, projectile pools and leaves him open. But at the same time, he does get some interesting conversions. Mm. Just like that, with a 
Shot up Boomerang uh, at way too much uh, uh, closer range uh, to Sonic, got him punished. Yeah, for, for example, those fastfall neutral air are like... J just when you find some, it doesn't really convert something out of it, and it often gets it often gets punished. I recognize but that uh, first of all, neutral air from the uh, Falcons match against Fire. Actually, he did the exact same one. Uh, did get shield grabs the exact same way. Very nice for Redes. A second hit, nearly taking Edge on stock. Trying to make a wall, but nice get about like from the edge. Trying to reach him with that back air. The upper just was really close. My god, just like exchanging moves really close from each other. Now the back throw. Terrible situation for Vince. Edge on track to make that edge but that's not B, but still the bomb is here. It's still a the rough bomb situation. Is now. Okay, the Tether grabbed. Oh no, I will dropping his shield, barely leaving that forward there. Second heal again. That could be it. Okay, tries to have uh, some sort of uh, jab cancel going on. Grab would definitely kill Sonic at this percent. I don't know if it's Edgy on TI that are insane. Yeah, that's it. Uh -oh. Gets the right. Yeah, yeah. Reads the neutral get up to grab. He knew he put so much pressure on Edgy on. He's probably getting a bit scared. I should be able to get that grab in as soon as he gets some from the edge. So the upset that just happened yeah. is Nirelos from yeah. Bordeaux yeah. just beat Chimera. Wow, okay, that's pretty big. I, I can see why uh, there would be so much noise coming up. Chimera is uh, the third best player in Italy, and um, he's the best talent from that uh, talent to, from that country today. So he got upset. Nero's still a good player, definitely. Uh, one of the strongest players in Bordeaux, but then again, not a, one of the strongest players in our PR. A character specialist too. I, uh, he was playing Robin, I suppose. I suppose he was yeah. playing Robin, like always. I don't know if he got all the characters, actually. I just know Nirelos for his Robin. So, yeah, and it wow. was first round too. Kimera not having uh, the best of, uh, I wouldn't say luck, but uh, performances in his uh, recent tournaments. Because I, I, at Carries 2, uh, 3, I'm sorry, uh, he also happened to lose very early on in the winner's bracket. So he'll have to try and make better than uh, that day and uh, bring it back from the loser's side. Still doable for him, still doable. And so, the second match is still playing on Battlefield. A bit of a Curious choice, in my opinion, uh, but I'm not an expert at the matchup, obviously. Uh, usually, uh, as a player, I try to avoid taking Link to Battlefield, because as we've seen with his forward there, it puts so much pressure on the play on uh, people when they're stuck on the platform. You're like, yeah, it's not cloud level, uh, his upper is not that good, but his forward there does like 26 damage, and then he can pressure you with up tilt, and when you're landing on the platform away from him, he's pulling out projectiles, so it's very tough, gets him a lot of space. On the other hand, I, I would suppose that Jeon would like to avoid flat stages because his spin dash would get easily punished by uh, bomb throws. I do get it, and I feel like the edge guard situation are mainly in the in a in a edge on favor. Like for those moments, he just like drops some stuff at some point. But the first talk, for in for instance, was like definitely. The, the strongest form yeah. board, like of Edge on just taking his time, getting back on stage, getting those grabs, and just pushing him away and again and again and again and again. Just Very nasty. nice, yeah. Vince was really ready for that roll. He's been noticing some kind of pattern from Edge on when he's close to the edge, uh, going for roll cross ups, either as an aggressive tool or roll away as a de an escape option. And right here, he called him out. And just after that, called him sticking in his shield because he knew, okay. At this time, you're traumatized. You, you don't want to roll anymore, so I can get an easy grab, even with my second grab. It's funny, like, even though Vin's taking some uh, risk in his pressure, like for the neutraler in the shield, for instance, he never gets really hard punish. Like, it's always, like, simple punish. Yeah. Nice drop back here, though, by, by Ejeon taking that stock. He's making that work, actually. It's really Vin's, uh, I'd say, not respecting Sonic's landing. Uh, he's been hit by back here, like, two or three times when it's a terrible option to land with, usually because it's so laggy. Vince is a really, like, not a risky player, I would say, but he takes risk. He likes to take bets on what will yeah. happen on the on the stage, on the ground. And he naturally gets hard punished for it, so he's always trying and trying and trying, using the big weight of uh, Link to survive longer, so... That's well, to watch. You could see that uh, working out with a uh, jab jab to uh, run away, uh, turn around forward shield that got him this very nice kill first talk. For example, basically, if the other guy doesn't roll, if he shields, if he jumps, if he attacks, it won't work at all. Okay. But if you read the right, it's a clean start. Even at the end of the first game, I mean, he bet everything on the grab. Yeah, absolutely. A spot dodge or jump, and Vince would have lost the game because it was a high person too. 
I mean, this is crazy. Scary situation. I, I love like how Vince is always like closing the oh. distance with uh, with uh, Ejeon and like kind of for, kind of throwing projectiles in a in an area where it's really hard for Ejeon to react to, forcing him to take some path and then trapping him with a huge smash like that. And I love the Vince play style right the, now. The, the, the very same trap that he did just earlier. He tried to do, a, I think, an up air fast fall to frame trap uh, Ejeon, but he missed on the punish. But this time he was ready. He was like, okay, you like to air dodge? I'm not even going to pressure you because I know you're going to air dodge. I'm going to throw a bomb and punish the upcoming air dodge. Ooh! Oh, wow. The bomb is might die from it. Okay, just barely leaving it high up in the corner. Uh oh. Still not out of it yet. Yeah, finally gets the roll, but Ejeon reading is a far away second roll. Yeah, but still not dead, still not dead, but once again, Ejeon pushing him again. Nice up there now. Oh wow, okay, nice one. Getting the jab, not going for the risky up smash. He just wanted to be sure he can take a slow and steady push. In. This could be it, forward throw. Okay, down throw, tries to get him off the stage. The up B. Perfectly times his tether to grab the edge back. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it was really nice all this cross up and stuff. Yeah. Or tilt or grab or anything. Will he punish that bomb? Nope. It just nice. playing, yeah, okay. It was playing a really nice talk there, even though he was at a deficit. He only got hit for like 20%. Oh, wow, nice one using the invincibility on spin dash to approach through the bomb. Okay. Yeah, na now it's actually rating all the movement of Vince. Yeah, as it's been uh, since uh, the second stock, actually. This time, it's just that he's closing the deficit. He's not even in a stock deficit anymore. But these approaches, yeah. Uh, this, uh, I'm sorry, these upbeats are getting a bit repetitive. And Vince was ready to punish them with an up smash. Just barely missed the punish. Okay. Okay, Riz is more to gain. Nice. Ah, yeah, away. away. Vince sees it coming. Tries to wait for the dodge, but it does not come this time. It's only is it getting predictable, but still mixing it up. The so bomb should save Vince. Yeah, and for oh, and for like Vince missing a lot of tiny punish that allows uh, Ejeon to take some person, take some person, take some person, little by little. And now here we are, one uh, more than 100 percent, and in the charge situation. Oh, wow, this could be it. okay. Using well, if he hadn't uh, slid away from the platform, if I had been stuck on the platform, that forward definitely would have connected. Oh. This could be it. Yep. This is it! On the startup of UB, just before the invincibility kicks in, Ejeon gets clipped by Vince, who had read his aerial movements, and he takes it. Ejeon definitely disappointed while, yeah, packing his stuff. Vince, Orcs, Vince will be moving on in winners. He can be proud of himself because, as, we, as we've said, uh, Ejeon definitely knows this matchup. Just got red. As the scent went on, uh, he got. Uh, more and more uh, predictable with his up B uh, escapes. And on Battlefield, even though he has a, a lot of mix-ups with platforms and stuff, still got back at the same point and Vince was ready to finish it over and over again. Yeah, Very nice agree. match from him.